Okay, in this video, we're going to look at webhooks. In the last video, we talked about what a webhook is. In this one, we're actually going to set one up. We're going to do it in Zapier. I'll do a different video for Integromat. For Zapier, you have to have a premium account, a paid account. For Integromat, for webhooks, I think you can do those with a free account. I prefer Zapier. Uh, in my opinion, it's more reliable and has more functionality and more options. <clears throat> but of course, the choice is yours. So if you're using Integromat, you can skip this video. And if you're using Zapier, you can skip the next video. So you can add a webhook from two places. You can do it here in the web portal, or you can do it from the uh, pop-up here by hitting webhooks. And you can add a webhook from here, or you can add a webhook from here. I'll do this one just because it shows up a little larger. You want to name your webhook. All right, I'm going to call this one Group Maximizer. All right, Facebook Group. Okay, that's, uh, and these are only going to be for people who are approved. So I, I might even call it, actually, I don't need Facebook group. We know that's where it's coming from because we're in Maximizer. So Group Maximizer Approvals. Um, I'll put Facebook Approvals. Now we need a URL. Okay, we need a, we need a place to send this data. And we get that URL in Zapier. So what we want to do is create a Zap. And Zaps have two parts. They have a trigger. Which, sets, which starts the zap in an action which tells the zap what to do. So what we want here is we want webhooks, all right? We want webhooks by Zapier. And there are three types of events you can do. You want catch hook. Retrieve poll gets data but doesn't do anything with it. Catch roll hook requires some formatting coding on your part. Catch hook is what you want. That's the user-friendly option that we want. And then you'll hit continue. Uh, no child key needed, so hit continue. And here is the catch hook web URL. So you want to copy that. And that just means that this URL, any data sent to this URL is going to do whatever this app tells it to do with that data. So we're going to copy it and we're going to go back to Group Maximizer and we're going to put that URL in there and we're going to hit submit. Okay, it says it added successfully. It sent test data successfully. If there's ever an issue with text data, you can send it manually here. And if you're setting it up in the pop-up window, the test data is this little left-hand icon under actions that has a little box and an arrow. Okay, so, uh, but it already sent it, and we can double check that when we're in Zapier and see if we have it. While I'm thinking about it, let's make this a name group maximizer Facebook approvals. We'll give it the same name as the webhook inside of group maximizer just to keep things together. Now we want to test our trigger. It should come back with some data, and it does. You'll see it's got. Um, the group name, the group ID, it's got a test, you know, a fake first name and last name and all of that good stuff. Okay, we'll continue. Now we want to do an action. We've got the data coming in. Now we need to do something with it. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send <clears throat> to a Kartra campaign. Now, whether you use Go High Level or you use Kartra or Chirply or, you know, Groove, any, any number, active campaign, any number of places, I want this to go into an email sequence. I want them to immediately get an email that says, hey, welcome aboard. And then I've actually talking about reseller programs and things like that. So think about maybe another way to market to them, let them know things you've got, because now you're communicating with them in Facebook in the group, but also off Facebook and email. Um, if something ever happened to your Facebook group, you've already got all these people in as leads. So I'm going to do Kartra. And there are a couple of things we want to do in Kartra, okay? Um, the first thing I want to do is uh, create a new lead. Okay, in, car in some systems, you may not need to do this. In Kartra, I found you want to create a new lead and then use the lead to do other things with it. So I, I've already got my Kartra account connected to Zapier. And we're going to hit continue. And uh, what we want on the email is the email from, let's show all options. Actually, we can just come in here and go email. Okay, uh, we might need to grab some actual data. I don't see, yeah, here we go. Answer two has emails. Okay, that is what we want. Answer two has emails. So what we want is this information here, okay? So I think what I'm going to do, yeah. Let's try that. I might need to actually run this run this once just to get some, some data in there, but we'll find out. Okay, their first name is going to be this from there, right? And just click back out of the box. I don't need a middle name. Their last name 
is given also, uh, last name is there, click out of the little box. Um, I don't need or have any of this other info. Um, I might want some of this other data for right now. I don't need any. I'm just going to hit continue. I'm going to test and continue, and we're going to see if this goes in. Okay, success. Now what I want to do is I want to add another step to this. So now I've got them as a lead inside Kartra. Now what I want to do is add them to a sequence. All right. I want to add them to a... Uh, to a I actually need to add them to a list. In Kartra, I need to add them to a list. So we've got them in as a lead. We want to subscribe the lead to it because once they're on the list, my, my email campaign automatically starts as soon as anybody joins the list. <clears throat> Continue. And the list I want to subscribe them to, of course, is Group Maximizer, right? Group Maximizer is the name of the list. And the lead, all right, I'm going to grab the data from here, uh, whoops, no, I want the data, I'm not thinking, I want the data from the catch-hook, right? So what we want, that's their email. Let's show all options. It's going to be answer two. There we go. That's their email. And I don't believe I need a lead ID. I don't think I need a lead ID. Oh, we do. There's a lead details ID. So let's get that from there. Now, there is no data. I might need to get an actual person in here first. Continue. So this one's probably not going to subscribe because there's no data in that uh, one test field. I'll show you how to, how to change that. No, nope, it did go. It didn't matter. Oh, it, it did have a, a test. Amazing. So I'm going to publish this app now, and we're going to turn it on. Okay. Your app is on. Don't need to share a copy. All right, so we're good to go. Currently in read-only mode, that's perfectly fine. Let's go back to Group Maximizer and run this webhook, right? So we're in uh, the Group Maximizer page. I'll refresh this just to refresh it. And we've already got this group connected to Group uh, Maximizer, so all I need to do is use Group Maximizer. We're going to approve both of these people. They have, they are people in the group. I know that, and they have legitimate emails. We're going to hit Select and Approve. Now we want to do... We're going to make a little change. We're not going to send the data to the Google Sheet. We're going to send the data to the webhook, and that's the Group Maximizer Facebook approvals. Now, I could also send it to the Google Sheet. Um, I don't really need to do that. I'll probably change my preference settings. So I'm going to send it there, and we're going to hit Confirm. One of them's up there. We're good. Successfully exported your data. Well, that remains to be seen, doesn't it? Let's go. Let's go find out. Okay. The real test is going to be going into Kartra, going into leads, and doing a. Actually, let's go to lists and group maximizer Facebook group active leads is one. All right. That may only be our test data so far. So it hasn't. Uh, it hasn't come through yet. And, of course, there could be an issue. Sometimes these don't always work on the first time. Let's go. What we can do is we can go to Zap History, and we can look at uh, the Zap Runs. And it looks like it's waiting. It's scheduled. So this may not run immediately. Uh, when it says schedule, this may this webhook may only check every five minutes or ten minutes or fifteen minutes. But the fact that it's waiting for data uh, means it's working. It's it's running, and that and we had two people, right? So we had the first person, and the second person. So they're both in there waiting. I don't know if it tells me when it's scheduled, um, but you can see all the data is in there, um, and everything looks like it's in there correctly. Um, yeah. Well, I see one issue here. Um, the answer three is what we want 
uh, from this. We do not want answer to. So that's fine. So what we do is now, now I've seen that. So we're going to go back into the dashboard. We're going to edit the zap and see what we've done wrong. We, we didn't map a field properly, uh, which is fine, which is perfectly fine. Let's go back to our, whoops. I don't want that dashboard. I want zaps. Come on. There we go. This is all the process. So now I get to show you how we can tweak a zap and do some edits on it if you find an issue. First time you try these things, you know, they may not work properly. And we'll see what we did wrong. Create new lead. I see. So the test answer was answer two. Okay, so I'll show you how to fix that. All right, in the test, it's answer two, but I actually created it as question three. So here's how we fix this. Okay, we need to edit the zap. So click edit. I'm glad I'm getting to show you this. What we need to do when we go to set up an action, I'm sorry, when we, yeah, set up an action, if you scroll to the bottom, nope, in test action, let me think. What am I doing wrong? Let's just go back to the beginning. Okay, create new lead, continue. The account, continue. Oh, I see what we do. So let's um, test the action. We're going to retest and review. And then what we should be able to do, once it's, it's going to check this data and put it up there. Uh, now there's an error because the lead, the lead already exists. What we want is to grab more data. Um, I haven't done that in a while. Refresh fields. So I just wipe them all out. Well, there's a way to bring in additional data in here. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, yeah, here we go. I was in the wrong place. The data, the data, see, I've been using Zapier for years, right? So the data comes into the trigger. And we've only gotten this test data in. But now we have two people that we've actually run through. All right. So what we want to do is we want to load more test data. So this is going to grab some real results. Okay. We already had A. Let's grab request B. This is going to be a real person. Right. Okay. This is going to be a real person that came in. So now that we have additional data. All right. Now we can come down to create new lead, set up action, and I'm going to go grab, I'm going to go grab the real information, right from the from here. See now we've got this real data. So what I want the email is actually going to be three, right, and the first name is going to be that. And we can just delete the old, whoops, delete the old one and add the new one. And you may need to do this. You may need to, you know, get your actual data first. And we could have done that in the trigger before I set up the action and we won't, won't be going back and editing. So <clears throat> that's uh, probably a better way to do it. Last name. All right, and that's all we need is last name, first name, email address. And I hope Fred doesn't mind his info being in here. If he does, I'll take it down and put up a new one. Continue. Fred's a good guy. Testing continue. Subscribe to a list. Continue. And the list we want is the group. And I'm going to just change here again on these because we're doing a second thing here. Let's just go in and grab the real data. So the email is going to be the email. Email is going to be the email. Question three. Oh, I'm sorry. I want answer three. There it is. And lead data. Let's see if we've actually got lead data. Yeah, I don't think I need that. I'm hoping I don't need that. I believe that will supply that automatically in Kartra. Continue. And we'll test and continue. Let's see what happens. Beautiful. Lead subscribed to list, which means he's also going to get an email from me. 
and we'll publish that. That's it. So the only thing that I did, and I'll probably go back and redo this video at some point, but um, after you've run the catch hook the first time, go run it and uh, get some get some extra data <clears throat> in the uh, in there, so you have the the questions are going to match the actual data that's in there, and um, and then then use it all for that. But otherwise, we're good. So that's so that's good, and uh, and now you can run a webhook, and I can add all the things in there. If I collected a, a, a phone number, I could send that out to my SMS marketing uh, campaigns. Uh, you know, other other data I could collect. I could send it out to a CRM. I could send it to a Google Sheet. I don't know why I would do that. We can just set up a sheet directly. But uh, there are all kinds of other things that you can do with it with a webhook. And uh, so now anybody that joins my group is not only going to be in the group approved, but they're also going to be in my email campaign. And they're going to get an email from me that welcomes them to the group and offers some, some other options that they can purchase more things from me. So hopefully you can, you can use this to maximize your groups. That's the whole purpose of the extension is to maximize what you're doing with your groups. And when you start adding them to email campaigns and text campaigns and things like that, uh, you can really start to scale and leverage what you're doing with your Facebook groups. So hopefully this has been helpful. If you need anything, let me know.